Hi everyone, it's Judy. Today is Wednesday, December 16th, and this is my week 7 post-op video. I uh, did not post my week 6 post-op video. I was really kind of busy last week. Never did get around to it, but I will give you the, um, the numbers uh, from last week. Uh, week 5 post-op, I had gained uh, 1 pound. My week six post-op, I did lose 1.5 pounds, so I am back to 216. Uh, so that was good. My weight this morning, again, was 216. So I neither gained nor lost this week, which is fine with me because um, just getting through this holiday season is, is going to be rough. My mini goal is for the next two weeks uh, not to gain anything. Uh, I think that would be quite an accomplishment if I could just maintain. Um, but uh, I do want to discuss my fill. I did have a 1.5 uh, cc fill a couple weeks ago. And uh, I really don't feel any restriction at all. Um, it, I can pretty much still eat anything. I, I can eat beef. Uh, I've tried a slice of bread recently with butter and that was fine. I tried rice this week uh, and that was fine. Um, nothing, uh, I, I still try to maintain the one cup per meal rule. Uh, but there are some days where I just feel like I am insatiable. Like uh, this past Monday I made a pot roast for dinner in the crock pot. And I had my cup of pot roast uh, with the protein, the beef, and some carrots. And I also had some cauliflower and a slice of bread with uh, with margarine, I guess you want to call it. And I ate that and I was still hungry. So I went to the cupboard and I got three Chips Ahoy cookies. And I ate those and that was it. I said that's all you're going to have. Now it's better than eating the whole sleeve of cookies. So I limited myself to three. So I am by no means an angel in all this. I have uh, stayed away from all the sweets at work. That's another hurdle um, that I have to stay on track and stay serious about because ever since Halloween there has been candy and cookies and brownies and fudge and all around me at work and I have not taken a single bite out of any of it. Um, tomorrow is our uh, employee luncheon, which I will attend that since it's going to be catered, and they usually have chicken and pasta and all. So I will have some chicken and just take the skin off. So I will have that. The building where I work is on the same day tomorrow afternoon is hosting a dessert reception. I will not be attending that. Um, I will stay far, far away from that. So just getting through this holiday season, if I can just maintain and not gain anything, I will be very happy. Um, <clears throat> another thing uh, that I wanted to mention, and I believe it was Cynthia, and I know Regina, uh, also made the comment, and it's regarding, um, I don't want to give too much information, but it, it's, it's constipation. Uh, I, too, suffer from that, and um, it, it can be very difficult at times. I have found one thing that really works for me, but I have to give you caution um, about using this product because, uh, let me get it for you, it is called 
Slim T, and here's what it looks like. I prefer the orange spice. I mean, it's okay. It's it's nothing. Doesn't taste horrible. Um, it's caffeine free. Let me see what else. Um, now, the one thing I have to tell you about this is it may give you cramping. Uh, this is the description. Um, the Orange Spice Ultra Slim Tea blend of 100% natural herbs provides a light, delicious, caffeine-free beverage that helps achieve results in aiding digestion and contributing to weight loss. Um, Orange Spice Ultra Slim Tea gently assists the digestive system by stimulating uh, peristaltic action of the intestinal tract. Mild, lubri mild lubricating herbs encourage elimination of excess waste and toxins without the discomfort of cramps or diarrhea. I tend to differ with that last sentence because you can, and I have had cramps using this, and I have had diarrhea using this, but it does work. Now, another word of caution, if you're going to use this, make sure you're near a bathroom, and I'm not kidding. Um, also, um, it the um, instructions are, let me find it, is uh, for delicious, delicious cup of orange spice ultra slim tea, uh, steep one tea bag in a cup of boiling water for two to five minutes. Um, my suggestion, do it for one minute until you find out what it's going to do to you. And I take mine at bedtime. And I do not take this every day. Twice a week is what I use. Any more than that, you're going to suffer from diarrhea. Um, it says here, for two to five minutes, to desired strength and taste. Drink after main meals. Do not exceed two cups per day. I have two cups a week. And let me tell you, uh, Monday night, I had a cup of this before I went to bed. Tuesday morning, I had a small bowel movement. 11.30 in the morning, I needed to go back. I was sweaty. And I went to the washroom and eliminated. Whew, but I felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> and by two, no, by three o'clock that same day, by three o'clock in the afternoon, I had to go again. So, and I, um, I usually keep my tea bag in there for three minutes because I know what it's going to do to me. Three minutes might have been a bit too long, but if you're suffering from constipation, this says it's natural. Uh, I, I'm going, when I go to see my surgeon again, January 11th, and I see the nutritionist, I'm going to bring this with me, and I am going to see what she says, if this is taboo, or you shouldn't be taking this, I don't know. Uh, I do find, I buy this at Jewel Grocery Store. I'm sure you might find things that are very similar to this at Target or the General Store, the Dollar Store. Um, I'm not sure about Aldi or, or Ultra Foods or Food for Less or, or Sam's or Costco. I'm not sure. But if you get something that's called Slim Tea, tea and it helps your digestive tract, um, it works. Another thing I want to share with you is um, this Greek yogurt, which is the brown cow Greek yogurt. And I'm going to have to make a second video, so I'll be back.